um, hybrid. There it is. We have a hybrid game. The folks over at twitch.tv slash witty have voted favorably so for hybrid mode. As you can see here, it's a clear winner, so you can't argue with the facts. PH on 0% with one vote. <laughs> like and subscribe. Come on over to twitch.tv slash witty where you can vote in rigged polls as well. So if I remember correctly, the best thing to do is just to make the second tier tower and hope you get archers. That's not an archer. Okay, here we go. Hybrid's going to screw me over, isn't it? Job done. Well, that's a land lover. That's a pretty good... I'm going to take that. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to get it upgraded into privateer and then go AFK. GG. I'll take it. I've got the egg sack, which is like one of the worst towers, but I did manage to get privateer, so that does make up for it. That does make up for it. It could have been worse. Yeah, the ogre's pretty bad. Dwarf Monk's not too bad, actually. He got a pretty good start there, actually, with that one. He can get overrun, though, in the early stages, but technically he can be the best for an early investment. And Nick got a Nightmare, which is a really good early... In well, you know, early-ish investment. You know, it's tier 5 tower, in it? But still good. The Egg Sack of Truth is tanking. Gives the privateer more chance to survive. I don't know. Can I get away with a free zero? Next level is going to be harder. But this guy should pretty much one shot all of next level as well, right? What is he? No, he is clearly killing those. And the next level has. I can't see in the scoreboard, it's not letting me do the thing. Maybe. Oh, I don't think you can do it with a hybrid one. I can't change the scoreboard here. Okay, so I can't see the health and the mobs, but... Right, I can do two Tier 2 towers, or one Tier 3. Tier 3 is always a bit mid to late game, because it's a bunch of auras. I'm going to build these further back. Job done. Ah, kind of. I mean, that was plus gold, but a Dwarf Fighter isn't exactly... Reduces income damage from the front. By 50% in size. Is that when he's in the fight? Not like the units that he's next to right now. I think that's that's what it is. A novice. I think you can upgrade him. I can give him a sledgehammer and stuff like that. If I remember correctly. That's the, That might be a different one. But I think that might. No, that can't be. That's the militia, wasn't it? That's the militia that you boost up. So the novice is something else. Novice. I think he'll do medium damage. But I don't ever have medium armor when he upgrades. If he gets heavy armor, that could be quite good. So I won't push anymore. It's not possible to get the Parasite with... I don't think so. I don't know how you could get the Parasite, to be honest. I guess we'll do a Wyvern. Ooh, I can never find it. There we are. Because it's hiding in the second one. He's waiting for the Blood Orc since he couldn't get there in time. Okie dokie. We've got 160 gold. This guy, he does get heavy. He's a winner then. We'll get him plus another 45 golder. Got a lot of my tanks at the back here, but whatever. Okay, I got no range DPS, so I don't know what's going on there. I think I might have to start putting down some 200 gold towers and just upgrade those or something. This guy's ranged for the first seven hits. Yeah, you normally have to step it up to tier 4 onwards. But I've got good, good towers for the occasion, so I'm pretty confident I should definitely clear this. The privateer's going to survive as well, so he gets his uh, health bonus and damage bonus for clearing, which is nice. Panda and Privateer. That Primal Pandaren looks bigger than I thought he does. 
when you upgrade them normally. Of course, we're going to push. Do anything else? A couple of eggs there. I see some plus three golds. That's good. No gold on that one, but that's okay. Goes to other players, so they can use it as well. 148 gold. I could just upgrade the dwarf barbarian. I have no idea. It's just more heavy. Got a bit too much heavy at the moment. Uh, 135 gold for a tier four. We can try that because it's like an aura. Has a potential to be an aura. Could be the medicine man. I always wonder if it's going to be the medicine man. It's a mud man, which is another heavy armor tank. We need some range DPS. I'm going to have to probably upgrade this guy, I think, for the next level. Or I, I try my luck at something else. I just got to push. I can't go 4 1. I'd love to be greedy and go 4 1 5 1, but I've got so much heavy armor, I think I'm going to die on level 5. I've got way too much heavy armor. So I need as much value as possible so I don't. So I can compensate for the fact that I'm going to be taking bucket loads of damage. Privacy is good for a few shots. He is tanking that like a champ. Is he going to clear all the pigs? He is. Maybe. Yes. Oh my. Poking the pig. They got loads. They've got, they got a fair bit of range of them. One tactical leak. Ah. Right, time for the 200s. What's it gonna be? Wyvern? Job done. You're on. It's a knight! Huzzah! <laughs> I think I'll just push and then I'll upgrade this guy for level 7 after that. So I just need 220 gold. And we can get that from basically just one level. So I can probably get like 4 wisps. Because the upgraded knight should be good for level 7. Should be very good for level 7. More gold is required. More gold is required. More gold is required. Got that magic damage from the egg as well. There it is. I mean, you do go 6 1, so you got no one else to blame. Just do it as well as Nick did. He's got 6 1 and he cleared with less value, so he's clearly a better player. Uh. 7 1 now, he's just showing off. I'm getting some kills here, which really is awesome for me, because it makes up for the fact that I've not pushed. Damn, this is rare for it to go so well for me. Hyper rare. Thank you, boys. I appreciate your greed. It's coming in handy for me. I'm still building wisps. It takes so long. They're still queued. I don't even need anything for this level. Just get the farm, get the farm sorted. Get that out of the way, so I don't have to worry or think about that. Technically, I could cancel it and just upgrade this guy into the 15 food, and that would probably be enough. So, I don't technically need the farm, and I could have the 80% in a bit more. But we're going to want the farm anyway at some point. I'm probably going to forget, so. 
just be a little bit more safe. <laughs> yeah, I think we've got pretty shafted when it comes to having range units. He's actually ranged 180. Which is weird. So I technically do have a ranged character. Overclock going with the greed. Sneed's greed. I can do a blood orc. And like a witch doctor, or if it takes long enough, then a fur bog. Looks like a fur bog. Oh, who's this? Even check what the kings are. Two hundred seventy-six gold. We hundred percent upgrade you. I could have one more wisp. No, actually, I can't. That's it for wisps. Uh, try one more forty-five gold tower for luck. See if we can get something ranged. Why not? At this point. Okay, I'm not. If I sell that, I think I don't get the whole... If it's newly built, it sells. I don't think you do, because I think in hybrid... Nah, there's no way you get your gold back in hybrid. I have to keep it. Even though it's really bad, anyway. Because otherwise you would just sell the tower every single time. If it wasn't one you liked, and then build it again. So there's no way that works. Hmm. Ferb and Herm. I'm trusting in the Cavalier to do a good job here. Tank the left hand side. It'd be nice if I clear this, but as long as I kill most of it, I'll be happy. It does look like... Oh no, Privateer's still going, so yeah, I think I've got a clear here. Yeah, he did a really good job tanking that. Privateer lives on again. He is my DPS. Also, our king is fooped, isn't it? Nice, we get to hit the uh, orc for a little bit there. But yeah, we're in trouble here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, the kings. Are, is anyone going to even survive this level? Holy shite. That is a lot. That is brutal. This is a good mode. This is what the chat voted for. Let's get some help regen. You could have done damage probably, but I don't know. I wasn't sure. They got shockwave. Still got half their mana left. We've run out of mana basically now, so we're resorting to just picking off the last few. This is probably their last life after this one. I'm not sure they got the damage to pick them all off. Because we're going to survive. The health regen is going to kick in, I think, just in time. They got a shockwave still, so they, they'll probably survive that. Health regen for the win. Got to use that shockwave. He's just deliberately dying. You're such a lamer. You're just deliberately dying there. You could have cleared that. A hundred percent. 
So lame. Whenever things go well for me, the game lasts this long. This is why you don't... I'm going to put this onto YouTube anyway, and I'll, we'll do another one after this. But yeah, this is why you don't... Whenever games go well for me, you never get to see them, because this is what they do. The only games that ever go into YouTube are the ones where I get off to a really rough start. Let's just do a normal mode. PH. That'll do. There's your normal mode. Can I go Hippo Riders? Get Colt and Rangers. I might just like mass these and then re-roll and see what I get because the rest of it's kind of bad. Job's done. Job's done. Job's oh. Done. Job's done. <laughs> I thought PHGM was fine. Yeah, I can't re-roll either. PHGM CB. CB equals re- Oh, of course it does. C equals re and B equals roll. All right, I see. Um, okay. Well, there you go. It is what it is. I'm going to have to fish out for a Wendigo then. On your mark. Wendigo and mass archers. Evasion plus mass DPS in the background. We can win. Trust. Oh, you... Chichoff did alright anyway. He's fine. Oh, what are you even complaining about? Oh my god, you got some good stuff anyway. I'm the one who got screwed. Yeah, this would be a... I'd, I'd like to do sort of a video almost doing like a mini... Not documentary, it's actually just like an experience of what it would be like to be a blacksmith or something. I don't know if they do like a training course on it or something. Or just like a day out experience of working with a blacksmith or just seeing how they do it. This game is a test for you to see if you're going to go troll champion again. Not until much later, because otherwise he's bad. I'll get a couple more archers after this. A bit more deeps. Trust in the deeps. The deep, deep. Hmm, 180 gold. If I didn't build anything this turn, I could have two Wonder Guys for the level 3. And that would be pretty damn good. I'm like, I'm being legit here. I might leak level 2, but I could have two Wandigos for level 3, because I feel like I'll leak. If I don't get a second Wandigo, I'll leak level 3. Because as soon as they get past the first Wandigo, those archers are 100% dead. Like, they'll even be dead as they start to surround the Wandigo. If I did one archer... How much money do I need? 147. Yeah, that'll be alright. I can get one more archer in there. Squeeze one more. And then get a second one to go. Out with it. Build what you can and give nothing back. A given for my Alex Steele, huh? Something to consider. Not so, oh yeah, you're right about the dino. I got Tyrell's revenge dino. Yeah, I'm not going to clear this level. But will I get enough gold to put down a second one to go? I really, really, really hope so. I don't want to be like five gold shy. Because I know I want that second one to go for level 3. Even though there won't be a send much for level 3. I'm almost definitely going to get the one to go here. Do a Blood Orc. I should be like guaranteed. Because you get end gold. As soon as I get two Wandigos, I can go kind of crazy on the archers. But one Wandigo is not going to be super good for tanking. Like, it's almost tempted to push here, but like I say, it's hard to get that 180 gold tower in the early game sometimes. So if you just clear it now, 
that you don't have to think about it. Okay. Second one in the bag. Level three is a guarantee clear. Even if they send or not, it's a guarantee clear. No way they're leaking that. After five attacks, the attack speed is increased by 120% for the next five attacks, but the attack damage is reduced by 30. During this time, each attack heals 5% of missing life. Okay. There you go. That's a thing. Bring it on. Ah, there we go. I was waiting for one extra die. That was the one that didn't make it. I should have just pushed that. C2 is so much better. I want to get this dino kill. I have prepared. Research complete. Because archers are cheap, I can push my luck. Go, go, go. Fine to be greedy here. More gold is required. It's a little greedy. It has begun. Could have built like one archer, but I'd much rather have that wisp. Mass Wendigos. They get evasion. I, I normally don't like them, but I don't think they're actually that bad. Just not. Give enough credit. Right, I definitely need to not make any more wisps now. Almost tempted to send a dino zone just to get some income, just so I can get many archers for level 5, which is going to be kind of brutal. They're actually really quick attackers. I mean, they get the attack speed thing, that's what it is. Out with it. That's a given. For my brother. Mm, probably should get one Malaya. I bid you. And then just four, three more archers. Upgrade complete. Job done. My brothers. They that's were very apologetic, done. actually. They were very, they were very well behaved with YouTube comments last time. I don't know why, but they were. For my brothers. <laughs> There's a dude that sort of thinks, or well, seems to get upset that like, I keep complaining about the YouTube comments or obsessing about them. <laughs> that was funny. I don't really get offended or seriously like uh, taken out of place by like anything. I just make points, notes on things, but yeah, it's very hard to actually genuinely offend me. Whoa, those Wendigos, they went down quick. Do I have enough? I don't know, I don't think I have enough here. I think they're going to slice me down. That's pretty brutal leak, actually. See, this is what would have gone on to YouTube. I mean, this is... Oh, and this is what they would have seen. But they wouldn't have seen the previous game. But I'm including the previous game so they can fucking see that. Level 5 was really nasty for me. That's kind of makes sense because I had two Wandy guys. But at least they'll be good for level 7. I've lost a fair bit of gold for that, though. So... Looking forward to when we actually get to send so I can actually get some income back. Brother 
Jesus. Yigs. Needs more archers, I think. Or do you get Malayal over archers? Like multiple Malayals. I could get a cult, because that's also good for level 10. And then it's like, it's not, it's a flying unit, so I think it flies above. Oh, I could get a third Wendigo. Third Wendigo would be super good. For level 7. And then back into range DPS. Or you take your chances with two Wendigos for level 7 and just spam out the archers. I can't build much in the more archers, so... I'm not feeling too happy about this level. I kind of want to sort of see if I can just clear it. And save my money for... You know, potential cult and then upgrade or... And the second one to go, plus something else. I had five gold short, and I wasn't really willing to put it down. On more archers, because I've got so many. I feel kind of vulnerable if I keep putting more down. I hope I don't leak this, because of that. There's a possibility I will, but... I think I've got this. Double blood oil. That's sweet income. If not, then it's a tactical loop. Looks like a tactical loop, but maybe one. Unless that Malayal gets those big boy crits. She does. Someone call for the doctor. 337 gold. That's definitely another one to go right there. And that's 157 gold, so that could be a cult. Cult classic. Job's done. That's a given. I want to try that because I just think it will flow better I am over the heads. Like multiple cults, maybe. I think it's a flying unit anyway. I think it flies over them. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I It, yeah, it does fly over, but then it's actually got really short range. That's kind of funny. Didn't know it had that short a range, it's kind of suicidal. 250 range is kind of bonkers. They did send a lot, so I'm not going to clear this. Yeah, it's quite spicy that send, actually. Time to upgrade the king. We've got Stomp. Yeah, I might just go damage because they got a bunch of sins. Hmm. Oh, that's nasty. Where's that Murloc? Is there still a Murloc alive here? I think there is no Murloc. God damn, is that all our lives? I think that's all our lives, almost. Brutal. They're still going on that side as well. Well, they have to be at least minus one. They have to be like close to the amount of lives we have if they still got satyrs alive. Yeah, it looks like it. True that. Just get anything that can sort of survive level ten. For my brothers. On your mark. On your mark, get set, go. Damn it. 
Not enough money. Point the way. Enlighten me. I'll do this then. That'll do, pig. Job done. You want axe? Did you know about the Warcraft two transport ships? While I'm sure they can be attacked by enemy units and repaired by your peasants, the peasant must be given the repair. Oh, thanks. Surely not. There's no way you're gonna leak this. I think you might do. Mm. Calculated. I bid you. Has begun. Sorry, I calculate that too well to leak. Seven four, are you freaking kidding me. Don't push any more. Bloody hell. I don't think the game's planning to go on that long. Need value. I guess we can blame Chich off now. Uh, so basically, you just want to not die. So the best way to do that is just to upgrade the tanks. Because I've got ranged DPS. You could upgrade this, or you could be like, oh yeah, but look, he buffs everything and makes them... But it's like 5%. So is that still, it's not quite worth it. I'd rather have everything in just defense and have these doing damage. Out with it. That's a given. I bid you. We're dead on 10, so 7-5 ain't gonna do shite. Three six seven. You could get one more one to go and upgrade this guy, but I don't know the aura is going to be. I, re I genuinely don't know. Who do you want to kill? Someone will probably say it's worth it. Probably is worth it for one hundred forty-five gold at the end of the day. So you can do that. Plus one more one to go, plus one more archer. And that's a pretty good trade, I think. Yeah, I got four one to go, so that should be enough to tank. You know, that's a lot to tank. I bid you. They got a three hundred gold send or something, but it's not a massive amount. I should clear this with no trouble. I'd be pretty pissed if I didn't. Even if that's a bit of a split. One of you guys are doing their best. Is it good enough? I don't know. Yeah, we should be able to clear the rest of these. I don't think we're going to kill them though. It's a bit like, yeah, you kind of still have to push as well. I think 7-4 is quite crazy, but 7-2. If we don't die from this. I mean, on the bright side, I can get a bunch of kills here, potentially. Research complete. All gold is required. That was a fairly bad split for me. I could have had more that survived. You know, more left over. I am prepared. Should be able to snipe these a lot of the time before they actually sort of reach us. Oh, 
Got some gold right there. And they cleared as well. Looks like we're going longer than 10 then. Research complete. No one should be the wiser. It has begun. Mm, they got a lot of value there. I think it's pretty even. For my brothers, no one should be the wiser. Don't know what to start investing in meat wagons or just steamrollers later on. Maybe steamrollers after level 11. Yeah, the farm as well, but I want to push. Because I feel like I can, especially since I've got some gold from that. We're going to level 14 most likely. And yeah, they got loads of aquas, so 14 will be good. I don't think Yugi's particularly amazing versus 14. But 14 definitely looks like the answer. They'll, they might try to do a 7 before it, so I'm going to push the 7-5, stop there. And then max value after that. Gold towards the family. I am prepared. Out with it. Yeah, we do. By bidding, that's a given. The one goes of truth. <laughs> I thought he got evasion, though. I thought that was the whole Wondigo thing. Apparently not. They got nothing to do with evasion. I'm sure they used to get something that's, that's about evasion. By bidding. Evasion's the sprite. All right. Hmm. I mean, you could just keep getting Wondigos, because they're good for level 14 as well. Although not so good for level 13, which is when they could send. Steamroll is better for level 13 than a one go. Because the four five. But not quite so good for the 14, but I've already got a lot of one we goes anyway. Used to be evasion. Oh yeah. No, apparently not. You're right. Two hundred gold from level ten leaks, so I have to go from really. Yep. Pretty rich. Pretty filthy rich. off with the tactical leaks. Your elite archers did not Research quite pack complete. enough punch there. I could mass Malayals and, you know, more ranged DPS. That's good versus level 13. It's okay versus 14, and it's not too bad in a way. Piercing damage ain't great versus 14, but... Out. Damage is damage at the end of the day. For my Kill them quicker. They do less damage to you. So there is an argument to be just going all in on that. I am prepared. Could get like a 250 health on the side. I am prepared. If you got like one more one, you get not even steamroller. You can't reroll. But yeah, you could do one more on the side and then upgrade it. And then I'm really cushy. I think I'm really cushy after that. Not to mention, these guys can heal themselves. So that's not too bad versus 13. That helps them a bit. And then I just go full damage. I don't think you even bother with the steamroller. I think I just prefer another one you go and upgrading it. Out with it. Yeah, let me just re-roll, guys. The button's not there. I'm not 100% sure if we we'll have enough to kill him on 14. It does seem like the level has put some pressure on. If they save and go 17, then I can just start making the steamrollers. That's if we don't kill him on 14. I feel like I'm Brothers. fairly good versus 13. I've got a lot of heavy armor, but they're not bad heavy armor type units, really, because they can get some health I back. And then I've got loads of away. pierce and damage behind it, so I'm going to whack those all on. I am prepared. I'm going to go crazy with that. Upgrade complete. Hi. 
That's a given. Job's done. Job's done. For my brothers. Yarp. They didn't go, so they are maybe going 14 or potentially, like I say, 17 if they're banking on us not killing them on 14. Get the armor, get the damage from the gargs. Whoever's got the aquas is going to have a really bad time. It's not exactly a massive send, so they still might not die to this, to be fair. But they could still leak, which will cost them gold. So there is that. Just have to hope that it doesn't give them enough time to send something that's going to kill us in 17. But like I say, I think we've all got really good value. Like, I wouldn't even push to 7-6, to be honest, if they didn't send. I'll just keep putting value down. By bidding. Level 14. There's a lot of gold. I could get two more upgraded Wandy guys. <laughs> so many of them. I am prepared. There's like no way I leak here. If I go that. Like, come on. There's like four of these. Upgrade and then one complete. in the middle. Upgrade complete. That's a lot. That's like 8,900 health or whatever. You know, roughly 8,500 health of tank. Can I get another geared? More lumber is required. More lumber is required. I want to see these guys get their health back on their attacks. Hmm. They didn't actually send. Okay. So they are going for the 17. Or before that, but. That's going to be a super clear. <laughs> Not even close. They got 40 leaks. It is dropping to 30. The 30 might be enough to kill them. There's quite a bit. Plus the gargs. But I think this might take one heal off. I think they've got like an extra heal compared to us. So many skeletons. Gives us time to stack our units up though, which is kind of nice. That king is maxed. Our king certainly isn't. At your call. Yeah, I don't think we'll kill that then. That king is maxed already at this point. They can't send too much in 17, though, so I said I wasn't going to send, but I think if they've got 20, you know, that many upgrades in the king, there's no way they can send that much in 17. So we can get a 7-6, I think, in my position. Yeah, even a 7-7 seven, seven is potential. I mean, you're going 7-7, seven, seven, but you've got 400 less value than me. Remember that. If anyone can go 7-7, seven, seven, it's probably me. Do it. it. Wakata. I'm gonna start getting Build those steamrollers in. Build more farms. I did it. Build more farms. It has begun. Build more farms. Or you could get meat wagons, but Build more farms. you could get some meat wagons as DPS in the back. Get an extra steamroller here and here for like a second frontline tank. Even though I've got a ridiculous amount.
More gold is required. 2,300 health. It's so expensive though, but let's hope it doesn't suck too much. Eh, I think meat wagons are pretty good. I think they're like average to good sort of thing on the tier list. I don't think they're bad by any means. have to. If anything else, it'll be even, because they're going to have to do a send on 17 anyway. So they either kill us or we survive it. Out with it. Has begun. That's a given. Has begun. Job's done. For my brothers. Honk. Job's done. We haven't upped the king, that's true. I am prepared. Hmm, it's tough, isn't it? Because I don't think we'll kill them 17 even if we do send, so maybe we do need to up the king. If they send, but will we have enough to up the king? Because we've got like nothing in the king at the moment. And that's going to be like, I am not he needs like a thousand plus lumber each. So if we do a sin, we're going to have nothing for the king. I think we just have to survive 17, basically. I think that's what it comes down to. So just don't be bad. And survive 17. Tactical League. I mean, they can see it, but they would have started sending anyway. They were going to do it. Right. I have enough to upgrade one assault tank. So let's give that a well. I could get rid of... Um, in I feel like this is going to be the most threatening level. So I will legit like get rid of things to put more damage. Waiting on you. That's a given. Waiting on you. I am prepared. There you go. That's pretty good. That's two... Fully upgraded steamrollers and another meat wagon. Let's see how we go. Will I get obliterated? It's not too bad a sound for me, so I assume I should clear this. It's nice these guys have 325 range, they just sit just behind me, pumping out some damage. Yep, I got it clear. I didn't want to take any chances because the others might leak and then I've got to kill their stuff as well. Which looks like the case, to be honest. They've all leaked, so can I hold off enough? Plus the king's health. It ain't my bloody fault if we die here. <laughs> I told you guys to not be bad. Trash teammates. Yeah. 
thank you, Terrific, for the sub. Ugh, I couldn't carry Late that much. How's it going? W T I I H I. Trash. We shouldn't have lost that game, really. Oh well. I did my bit. I did my part. Thumbs up. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.